Now, there are blogs that are out there saying that I'm leaving because I've harassed my staff. Now, do I use salty language? Yep. And I've tried to do better. All right. Congressman Massa, political victim or fill in the blank? Well, all of the above. He does seem to have gotten himself into trouble with the Ethics Committee in, in a way that in, in, a, in, a, in a vacuum would have made Democrats very nervous, might have led them to push it for his resignation. But it's not a vacuum, and he's a vote against health care reform where every vote is in the balance. So I think they were probably particularly eager to see him go. Mine is now the deciding vote on the health care bill. And this administration and this House leadership have said, quote unquote, they will stop at nothing to pass this health care bill. And now they've gotten rid of me and it'll pass. You connect the dots. But he would have gone anyway? He might have. I mean, depending on the seriousness and the details of the sexual harassment charge. But we know some of those, right? We know what he says happened at that wedding where he says his aides, you know, the people who work with him were all drunk. A staff member made an intonation to me that maybe I should be chasing after the bridesmaid. And his points were clear and his words were far more colorful than that. And I grabbed the staff member sitting next to me and said, well, what I really ought to be doing is fracking you. And what about the strange incident when Rahm Emanuel comes into him stark naked? I know. This, I know. This also, I mean, yeah. And I'm sitting there showering, naked as a jaybird, and here comes Rahm Emanuel, not even with a towel wrapped around his tush, poking his finger in my chest, yelling at me because I wasn't going to vote for the president's budget. Do you know how awkward it is to have a political argument with a naked man? It's ridiculous. This... Totally apart from the um, from any any allegations of anything, just just a bit of color. Is this a pattern with him over the years? There's never been a published allegation of sexual harassment before. He's a quirky guy, though. This election is because we are all Americans. From his 2006 campaign, somebody was making a documentary on veterans running for Congress, and it just captures what a prickly guy he was. And Emmanuel actually came out there to coach him to be less angry. You've got to smile. Have fun. If all people see is anger, mm -hmm. they'll see anger. Do you ever remember a person not likable winning? <laughs> okay, be likable. All right. That's the Rob Massa backstory, and he lost that campaign. He was he did he was very angry, and he lost it. But he won then, in two years later. So now he takes the airwaves. He's going to do Glenn Beck. I think he's going to do Larry King. He's going to say that that he's really a, you know, a, a political victim in all of this. Is this going to make a difference? Is this going to make any difference in the voting on health care, in the political complexion out there? I think the perception, which regardless of the other details, isn't, isn't outrageous, that Democrats were eager to dump him because he was a vote the wrong way, you know, that, and that Democrats are pushing very hard, you know, using the kind of muscle tactics that you always see in legislatures to get every vote in a close vote. Well, this is such a complicated story, and every time you look up, it's a different plot twist. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> Thank you for having me.